Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out a bunch of Hulk figures. So we're not actually going to open all these today. We're going to save some of them for different videos, but I wanted to put most of the figures from this set or collection together so you can see what they look like together and then we'll separate them out. Before we move on with this video, I wanted to get everyone's opinion. So this channel is kind of feeling like it's the Hulk channel, which is not a bad thing. That's that's awesome. I really like Hulk action figures and I want to continue to do a ton of Hulk action figures, but I'm thinking I want to do other things too, like Batman and Spider-Man and a bunch of other superheroes. So let me know what you think. If we should do more Batman and Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, whoever it is, just all the different superheroes, let us know in the comment section below. And we'll still do Hulk. We'll still unbox tons of Hulk. We have more to open from the collection. And as new Hulk action figures come out, I definitely want to show everyone those. But let's get focused back on this video now. So we have a ton of these figures and we're gonna open probably like two or three of them today and then we'll split this video between um, probably like two or three videos to unbox all these just because they're so cool. What I'll do here is show each of the back of the boxes of each of these figures and then I'll pick, I'm gonna do two today just because I'm doing like an overview of the entire collection that I have left. I've opened some of these before I mean, not these exact figures, but Hulk figures within this set. So we don't have the exact complete set, but this is the remainder of the set that we'll be opening the next couple videos or so, or a few videos. Anyway, let's get back to this. So there's some glow-in-the-dark figures here. Uh, press this button. So we can press this button for Power Glow, which we'll see in the video. So we'll set that aside. That's a cool Hulk figure. This one's really cool, too. Ground Erupts. Now we can see some of the Hulk figures within the collection below. So I believe, yeah, there's two different dates, I think, on these. This one says 2008, so let's look for, I think, 2009 there might be on others, but definitely 2008s. Uh, we have this really cool gray Hulk here with the gr gamma grip going on. It says pull arm back and release for smashing attack. That's really cool. And this one also says 2008 on the back. This figure also has glow-in-the-dark action to it, super posable, and 2008 again. Oh, this one's really cool. So this one comes with Hulk and Bruce Banner, so Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk, and it looks like figure fits inside Hulk. That is super awesome. Okay, I feel like we should open this one today. Like, this one's super cool. We gotta definitely open this. This one says 2007. Okay, so that's, uh, wait, it says 2007 down there, but 2008 up there. I think we've talked about this before. So yeah, some of these have two different years on there. So we'll set that one aside. That one will open today. And this one has a police car with Hulk. Okay, squeeze legs for a power smash attack. That's interesting. And it comes with these three figures. Looks like Hulk has become extremely angry, as usual, and there he is down at the bottom. Collect all Incredible Hulk action figures. And we'll set that aside. That one I don't think we'll open today. I think I'll do one. Or should I save all the glow? I don't know, we'll figure out. I was gonna see if I should save all of the glow-in-the-dark figures for one video and, and the rest for a different, but we'll figure that out. I definitely want to open that Bruce Banner Hulk figure for sure today. So Mega Kick Hulk versus Hulk Buster. So Hulk versus Hulk Buster. So this must be the Hulk Buster guy. I was thinking it was like the actual Hulk Buster, but I don't see that. So twist and release for a powerful kick. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. All right, now this one. This is the last one. So there's a bunch of these. Glow in the dark veins. So this one I've unboxed before. I don't remember if we unboxed this or not, like if I did a video on it, but I definitely have this figure out of the package, but we'll definitely unbox this too, just to keep going and opening all these figures from the set. And there's a little bit of a write-up uh, regarding the Hulk or the Hulk figure and 
tells what it can do on all these and again shows on the bottom figures we can collect within the set which is really cool here's the two figures we'll be checking out today as promised hulk and bruce banner and actually okay so it says versus hulk buster on here so that must be part of the series or set because i don't see a hulk buster in there i mean technically that that other guy in the on the back of the other package was trying to hulk bust but that's not the actual figure so I, I think i'm catching on here okay so the incredible hulk gray hulk will be unboxing that also smashing sign so he's got that now let's check out the back of these which we already did but we'll take another look at them so over here we have the gamma grip gripping gray hulk we can pull arm back and release for a smashing attack includes stop sign um, collect all the figures there and it looks like it has this proof of purchase over there and over on this side since we have this over here we'll check this out we have bruce banner and i think that's really neat how bruce banner can fit inside the back of hulk so we can open this and then he fits inside that's really neat just an extra step the, the newer ones don't have that but they did that back in the day like in the 90s and 2000, early 2000s they, you could put bruce banner in there and we did do a video where bruce banner had to like squeeze in the back of the hulk but this looks much better where he actually opens up so bruce banner can go in there just like better than the other one he fits in there a lot better it looks like but we'll see when we unbox this this will be the first time i've unboxed this figure so i'll be really interested to see we have some of these power the power glow hulk down there gamma charge abomination mega kick hulk versus hulk buster so yeah that's really cool we definitely have to start with this one this one i think is going to be my favorite but let's see here it is our hulk and bruce banner out of the package now the question is which one do we check out first how about let's you know let's check out hulk first because bruce banner is going to go back here inside hulk's back so we're checking out hulk first and this is a cool hulk figure not a ton of articulation his knees and his legs don't move they're stuck in place i guess we can kind of move his feet well maybe a little bit and his knees don't bend his elbows don't bend but we can move his arms up and down both arms we can so we're going to take a look at the back here and we'll take a closer look at hulk's face in just a little bit but i definitely have to show her on this here so we can pull the back piece off like this which is really interesting and cool so we'll take our bruce banner figure next and place him in here so we gotta get these hands together a little bit more on bruce banner and it can fit back here Okay, Bruce, you definitely have to keep your hands by your side. There we go, kind of, sort of. Okay, I think he kind of is getting it here. Kind of, sort of. Okay, now, well, there's Bruce back in there. So he's just, like, hiding behind Hulk. And then we're going to put this here like that, which is, that's cool. That's interesting. So Bruce Banner is completely hidden and concealed in the back of Hulk. You can't even tell he's there. Now for that close-up of Hulk. And if we want to get Bruce Banner out quickly, we can just go like that and, wow, Hulk's leg or his foot just came off. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But we got Bruce Banner out and we also got Hulk's right foot out her off but good thing is we can snap it back into place easily and actually it looks like we can take both of these off okay so that's not such a big deal for us like oh no did this break but it didn't so that's good we'll keep bruce banner out for now and we'll put this back it just slides into place like that so overall a really cool figure Two figures, really. So that's awesome. And I like how Hulk has this open hand here and the left hand's a fist. I think if they're like, if I can't move the hands, I think this is a really cool position to have them. You can get kind of the best of both here with one open hand and one closed hand. Next up, it's our Gray Hulk with the stop sign. It says, as seen in the video game. Okay, cool. So, as seen in the video game. 
That'd be actually a cool game to play. I've never played the game that I can recall. So on the back here, which we've checked this out before, we have the pullback arms and release for a smashing attack. That'll be cool to see. And let's get this out of the package. I feel like we've checked this out at least a couple times, so I'm really super excited to open this and see what it looks like. Now that this is out of the package, I like it even better. This is really cool. And we've checked out so many Hulk figures throughout the years. And this, I mean, it's Grey Hulk, so we do have other Grey Hulks, but this is a different Grey Hulk. And it just looks, has a different look to it and feel to it. And it just looks awesome. So I really like this figure. I like it better than I expected. That is super cool. A lot of detail. Yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, we can just swing this arm. Now we just pull it up like that and it just swings back down. I feel like I could do that for like, I don't want to say all day or hours or anything, but for a while. I mean, it's pretty cool. Just swinging that arm down. I remember they did that with like G.I. Joe's in like the early 1990s, which was really cool. It's a really neat fig uh, feature on those figures. So this one has a quite a bit more articulation than the other Hulk that we just checked out. We can bend the knees and move those legs around quite a bit. I mean, we can move them all the way around. Yeah, definitely bend the knees. We can move the feet. And we can even move this hand, which comes in really handy when we want to have him grab onto this stop sign. And check out the detail of the stop sign. So this stop sign is supposed to be like straight up and down, but Hulk grabbed it out of the ground. And he actually pulled it out of the ground. You can see the ground around the stop sign. Now Hulk has that stop sign in hand and this is what it's meant to do, just bring it up and swing it down. So he's just like doing this smashing, swinging the arm action. And his other hand has this closed fist. Looks like we can't move his fingers, it's just stuck closed. But this one, like I was mentioning before, we can move his four fingers together, that way he can grip the stop sign. Here's a look at the three figures we checked out today, and they look really neat together. Like the collection of three just looks really, really awesome. Again, we have Bruce Banner, Hulk, and Hulk. Which one of these is your favorite? We'll take a closer look at these. That is really cool. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this Incredible Hulk Rage Cage. This is an early Rage Cage from 1991. It's actually not the first Rage Cage, but it's one of the first. The first Rage Cage was from 1979. Here's a look at the side of the box. It shows Hulk. It says the Incredible Hulk Rage Cage with electronic sound. I'm guessing the sounds won't work all these years later, but if we change the batteries, they probably would. Anyway, let's get back to this. The back of the box looks really cool. Lots of really cool Hulk figures and other action figures we can collect too. Spider-Man, Venom, and a bunch of others. These are actually the taller figures. And then there's the Marvel Super Heroes action figures and a bunch of other cool things. I like this vehicle down here. That looks really cool. And we'll check out this side of the box also. And on the top of the box, it shows Hulk inside the cage, and this is what Hulk looks like when he breaks out of the cage. And there's actually different things going on on each side of the box. This is the bottom part of the box, and it shows Hulk again in the cage breaking out. Here's our Hulk rage cage out of the package, and we have the other two Hulk rage cages in the background. We'll check out those later, but first let's check out this Hulk in the rage cage. So this is our earliest Hulk rage cage and it's our smallest Hulk rage cage. So we're just taking a look all the way around at this figure and the, the cage that Hulk goes in. Then we'll show him break out of here in just a little bit. There's a closer look at Hulk inside the cage. He definitely wants to get out of here, so let's let Hulk out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down on this lever, and this is on the back of Hulk. And when we do that, he swings his arms up. So it's more of a gentle motion than these other two rage cages behind. So let's give it a try, and here it goes. So it just drops like that. Pretty simple. And we have the rage cage that he stands on. 
That's the platform and we can take him off. There's two foot pegs that go into the bottom of his feet They're right there. And we'll take a closer look at our Hulk figure. So here is Hulk. Not much articulation with this figure. It's a pretty simple basic figure. We can pull this down. He swings his arms up. So that's really the only motion that he really has. I mean it looks like maybe we could bend his knees a little bit but maybe not though. I don't know. It just it almost looks like we should be able to but they aren't. I don't know if it's the age of the toy or what but um, he's wearing the purple pants yellow shirt. This is a cloth yellow shirt that has like a tear in the front that's supposed to be there. And here's another look at the figure. We'll put him back in the cage and have him break out of there again. So let's get Hulk on the foot pegs just like that and we We'll pull all these sides of the cage together and they don't really snap in place too well. They they just barely go together so we have to like kind of press them together because they don't really want to stay together too well. Hulk is back in the rage cage and it feels like I'm saying rage cage a lot in this video. And I'm going to keep saying it because we have two more that we're going to check out after this. But here it goes. We're going to pull down this lever and let's try it a little bit faster this time. And there goes the other part of the cage. So there it is again, pretty cool. And what we'll do is we'll set this aside and let's check out these other ones. I've already opened these in other videos, but I'll show everyone again. We won't do as detail of a review of them, but just wanted to kind of show around this entire cage and we'll show the other one next. And this one has that lever we just pressed down and Hulk's gonna bring up his arms. Where he's supposed to bring up his arms on you know he might not be completely connected in there so i'm just going to take this apart and then we have to get hulk connected a little bit better in here there we go now he has that smashing action so it's really important to get him connected in there and as i'm putting this back together i can build it on camera so everyone can see how it goes so i usually start with one side at a time put these like that i'll set that against the cage there and let's see here. Let's see if this piece will stand. I think it should if I just hold both of them up like that. And we'll take this blue piece and this goes on top. We almost got it. There we go. Got that. Got that. Now we just have to put this other side in place. There we go have to be a little bit fragile or else the entire thing will collapse. Okay, so there it is. This time it should work. So I'm just gonna gently do this so we can see his arms swinging up. And now I'll do it a little bit faster. That is awesome. Okay, Hulk broke loose out of that cage. So we'll set that aside. Let's actually just put this back here. And next we'll check out this cage. So Hulk is in this one, and the window is already closed on here, so normally it's open, then we can close and see Hulk through there. So this is very similar to the other one with the arm swinging up like that. And what Hulk is going to do is he's going to hit that piece right there. That'll help this collapse. And actually, let's try something here. So let's close this and see if this like opens and Hulk. Oh yeah, so it opens, Hulk can smash through that and we can see it open like that, so that's cool. Okay, let's get Hulk out of here. He's been in here way too long. That is awesome. There it is everyone, Hulk officially broke out of all the cages. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this incredible Hulk electronic rage cage. In the center, we can see Hulk, he has a yellow vest and purple pants that have turned into almost like shorts with the orange cage. This is from 1996. It's a Toy Biz figure. And on the side we have a Toys R Us sticker. $19.99 was the price back then. There's Hulk breaking out of the cage. And this makes sounds also when Hulk smashes his arms up or brings his arms up to smash out of the cage. It's supposed to make sounds. Sometimes these don't work after all these years. Here's a look at the back. It looks really cool. We can see Hulk in this cage. I really like the cage and that 
orange and blue. It just has that 90s feel to it. And we can press this down. Hulk will lift his arms up, smash out of the cage. And on the bottom, there's some other figures within the set that we can collect. We'll get a little bit closer look at these. And working our way around the other side of the place that looks the same as the other side and the top of the box. I'll turn it this way so we can see the top and the bottom of the box. There's the proof of purchase. Sometimes people would collect these proof of purchase on the bottom of the boxes or on the back of the package. All right, let's open this and check it out. Here's the Rage Cage and Hulk out of the package. Let's take a look at our Hulk figure first and then we'll set up the Rage Cage after. So here's our Hulk and this should look like a familiar Hulk figure because we've had and used this figure in lots of other videos. The other one that we use though has the sounds that work. This one doesn't work when we swing his arms up. So on the back there's this lever we can press down or pull down and it makes his arms swing up and that's what will have or help him to, to bring his arms up to swing and smash out of the cage. So there's different variations to this Hulk. There's the yellow vest and there's also a white vest. And I believe both of them have the purple pants if I can remember correctly, just like this one does. So mainly just the difference in the, the vest or the shirt color. All right, let's get this cage set up. So first what we'll do is let's get Hulk positioned correctly. There's foot pegs on the bottom and then we press this into Hulk and in there, let's see. So he just snaps into place and then we position this here and then let's get his feet and the feet pegs. That way he has more stability and won't slide around. That'll be important for smashing out of this cage. There's these side cage panels. We'll start with that first and they swing around. They don't stay in place too well. So what we'll do is put these into place as best we can. We have this side and I'll just kind of, yeah, that one doesn't want to stay up as well as the other one. So we'll just, I'll hold this in place. And then this one will go here. So really what I'll do is hold all of these in place. Then bring this together. Then we take the top part of the cage and we'll put this on. And we have to get it to connect before it falls apart. This does fall apart quite easily. I have set this up probably hundreds of times over the years. So it looks, yeah, we, we did it. It was pretty smooth that time. So let's get a look around the entire cage and I'll show different angles of it too. This is a different angle and actually I like this one probably the best. Yeah, the colors of this totally represent like the 90s toys and some of the early 2000s toys, like the orange with the blue and the, the purple, the green, the yellows, just all those bright, fun colors. So yeah, it looks really cool. And what we do with this back part here is we can press this down. I'm gonna do it gently so we don't smash them out yet. And we might need to actually raise his arms up a little bit. That way he can smash out of the cage. Well, let's try it like this first. Let's see if it works. Okay. Actually, it did work. So what we can do is kind of position his arms up just a little bit. We don't want them positioned up too high. But yeah, that'll definitely smash out of the cage right away. Let's try it again. It's put together again. This time I didn't show uh, me building it. So this is the done version ready for Hulk to smash out. His arms are up. I think he's going to smash out of this quite fast. Here it goes. Let's try a front facing view. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, it's going to be a random Hulk video. So everything we'll open today is Hulk related and we'll start with this and this is just one of several things I'll open in this video. So we have Incredible Hulk with Shield Smash. So it's a Shield Smash Hulk. 
And you can see on the back of the package, Hulk has a shield that, did he like break it apart? I don't know. So he has like two pieces. I don't know if it's like two shields or what, but it's a shield smash attack. And looks like there's some other figures within the set that we can collect. These are from 2008, the movie series. Some really cool figures that came out of this set. Here it is everyone, the Hulk with shields and hands. Super awesome Hulk here. There's this button or knob on the back that we can press and these shields will come together. They can almost like smash together, that's cool. And he has some pretty good posing action. Super strong Hulk. And these can come out of his hands quite easily. It's actually a little bit more challenging to like get them in his hands to like stick. They just don't want to stay in his hands too well. But when they're in there, they'll, they'll be fine. I actually kind of like the look of it without the shields. He's doing that smashing action. We can actually have his arms up, raise them up like that, and he can do a smashing action that way. And there's a close-up of Hulk. Next up, we have this Pop Marvel Hulk. It's a Funko Pop figure, and it can actually be painted, which is really, really cool. I like how that looks. Like, there's this like part green and like unpainted part of the Hulk too, which looks really neat. And there's some others in the set that we can collect and paint. Also, there's Cap, Captain America, or Cap Snowman, Groot, and Hulk. This is number 398. Let's get this open and check it out. So I'm not going to paint it today, but maybe a different time I will. And I actually ordered multiples of these because I think it's just so cool. I wanted to keep one just like this, but I also wanted to paint some like different colors also. I think that would look really cool. That's really neat. It looks like he has a present in hand and a stocking in the other hand. He's just like gripping onto that stocking. That's cool. There's a little bit closer look at it. I'll try to get it more focused. You can see the Hulk's face real well there. Next up we have this Q-Fig Hulk. It's Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron series. And there's Hulk smashing. It looks like he just smashed down to the ground. That's really cool. Here's Hulk out of the package and he has just smashed into the ground. Look at that. That is really, really cool. A lot of really cool detail on this. The figure is stuck to this and the Hulk is in this stuck position or pose. And that's fine though because it looks really cool. I wouldn't really want to change anything to this pose. That is awesome. Next up, we have this Marvel Heroes Battle Dice fast action collectible figure game. It looks like this comes with Hulk and a dice, and he can, or we can load it, launch, and battle. And I think the official name of this is Battle Dice Launcher Hulk. On the back of the package, it shows and explains how to play the game. We're not actually going to play the game today, but we'll just check out the figure and everything it comes with. Here's Hulk out of the package, and Hulk is standing on this figure stand. You can see tires. It looks like he's just busted through the ground or through the road. And there's a fire hydrant. This is really interesting. And this is what's really cool about this. So we can move Hulk back like this, and he goes into like a throwing motion, so he lunges forward or goes forward with that throwing motion and his hands can open up just a little bit just enough to put this dice in his hands this is a close-up of Hulk's face he has an open mouth and he doesn't look like overly angry right now it's like he's kind of satisfied that he gets to throw this dice and here's the dice it looks like it's one through six so we have all the numbers on the side, and this is for the game. And it sounds like there's something in here. Let's see what's in here. What is it? Oh, it's like a little mini Hulk figure. Okay, so this is a Hulk figure for the game. That's cool. That's a really small Hulk. This must be like one of our 
smallest Hulk figures. Even though it's a game piece, it technically is a Hulk figure. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. So we'll put this dice in Hulk's hands. Well, that looks really cool like that. That's so cool. That'd be cool to get like a, a rock or something like, yeah, like that looks like a rock or maybe even a real rock and put it in his hands like that so he can have that launching throwing action. I think that would look really cool. So here it goes, we're gonna launch this. There's definitely some really good launching power. Let's try it again, here it goes. Okay, we totally have to do this again, at least one more time. Here's another close up of this Hulk. Moving on to another Hulk figure, this is the Incredible Hulk, Rampaging Hulk, with the collapsing brick wall. And this figure is from the year 1996, so we're going all the way back to the 90s on this one, and I cannot wait to check it out. Here is Hulk with the breakable, collapsible wall. So let's get right into just breaking this wall down, then we'll check this Hulk out a little bit closer. So we can pull this on the back, and I'll show everyone just a little bit what that looks like. And Hulk's going to break this wall down. All right, so he, he kind of, I mean, he did it, but let's get that to look a little bit cooler. So let's stack up the wall again. And let's give Hulk another try. I mean, that looked a little bit better, I think. <laughs> okay, so here's Hulk, and we can have him lift his arms up, and maybe I should have his arm. Uh, I think I was at a pretty good height, actually. So we can like adjust, lift this up and down, and his arms will swing like that. And then if we pull this, his arms go together. So yeah, this is a cool figure from 1996. He has the purple pants. Let's get a close-up of his face. So I'll zoom in right to his face. Welcome back everyone. Today we have a Marvel Legends first appearance Hulk. Here's a look at the back of the package and it shows the Build-A-Figure in the center Galactus. In the package we get the left arm and if we collect all these other figures we can build this figure right here. It says Hulk is 7 feet 2 inches, weighs 1,040 pounds, has green eyes and black hair. And it looks like on the power grid Hulk's intelligence is extremely low, strength is all the way to the right. So super strong, speed a little bit less than the middle, durability super durable, energy projection not very good, and fighting skills are good. Here's our new Hulk figure out of the package and we also get this left arm for our build a figure. We'll put this aside and we also get a comic book that resembles the first Hulk comic book. This is what introduced Hulk first appearance and Hulk's first comic book, which is super cool. That is awesome. Oh, and check out the back. There's some action figures that we can collect within this set. First appearance, Gray Hulk. And that's what this figure is. This is the first appearance, Gray Hulk. It comes in the same set. But this is a figure that we'll be focusing on and checking out today. This is also the first appearance Hulk. And as you can see right here, it says variant on there. So we have the variation or variant that we'll be checking out. And this is super awesome new figure for our collection. Lots of articulation and great posing action for this figure. I really like how we can move his fingers and this figure is kind of stiff because it was in the package for all these years and some figures are just extra challenging to move at first but the more we move them the looser they get which I don't want this to get too loose just because it won't keep its pose as well or it may not so yeah this is a really cool figure he has the purple ripped pants and I like how the toes can move up and down on his feet that way he can be in like more of a, a deeper front stance and he can kind of keep this back foot up a little bit if he needs to. I think we can get him to stand so yeah that's cool we got him to stand in a front stance let's have his hands up protecting himself. Here's a closer look at our new Hulk figure and you can definitely tell it's the first appearance Hulk by that facial structure his haircut especially. And this Hulk has a partially open mouth when we can see his teeth. And 
This is even a closer look at this figure. Here is both of our first appearance hulks side by side, and as you can see, they are the identical sculpt. I don't see any differences besides the Gray Hulk versus Green Hulk, and this has the blue pants versus purple. Otherwise, identical. Same height and everything. This one just needs to stand a little bit straighter, but they're definitely supposed to be the same height. Which one of these is your favorite? I like them both. I think it's really cool that they made a variant variation of this figure. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this 13 inch posable Raging Hulk figure. This figure is from the 2003 Hulk official movie merchandise line. Here's a look at the back of the box and it shows a Raging Hulk. I also think the side of the box is worth showing. It has some really neat design here with the Gamma Lab look to it and it says Hulk on the bottom. Here's a look at the other side. All right, let's get this open and check it out. Here's a look at our Hulk figure out of the package, standing 13 inches tall. And check out this swivel motion. He can do this smashing swivel motion. Let's see if he can spin all the way around. And he can. And it looks like this Hulk has actual cloth shorts. So these were pants that tore and ripped as he turned into the giant Hulk. And here's a close-up of his face. He has an open mouth. We can see his teeth. A lot of really nice detail on this figure. As we're going through these Hulk figures, there's a lot of different types of plastic used. Sometimes there's this thick, heavier plastic. This seems to be a lighter plastic, so I can easily pick it up and set it down. We'll take a look at the back of the figure. I really like this 2003 Hulk movie lineup. That's why I put some other figures on display. These are from the 2003 Hulk movie lineup as well. They're just smaller figures. And they're actually not too small themselves, but just compared to this huge 13 inch Hulk, they seem that way. So we'll line these up next to them. We've reviewed these before, so I won't spend too much time on these, but we'll just show some of the differences. Not only differences, but similarities in some of these figures. You can definitely tell they come from the same line. Especially these two, they have the purple shorts. I'm trying to decide which one looks most like this Hulk, maybe this one right here. We need to get one more close up look at this Hulk's face. Again, I really like the open mouth where his teeth are showing and we can twist and move his fist around so it's in a different position. I definitely like it, I'd say in this position right there. And this one I like in probably that position where they're kind of have that even look to them and he's in the smash position. And I like how it can bend like this and we can get it in this different poses. We do have to get a closer look at the feet and legs. So a lot of good detail on the feet. There's actually like toenails that we can see in there. If you look close enough, I'll try to get a closer look at those. There we go, there's a closer look. His lower body is kind of sort of stuck in place. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we can move this leg around a little bit and we can move his foot a little bit, but we can't like, move it like in a split stretch so it's kind of limited movement on the lower body of this figure. Welcome back everyone. Today we have a Marvel Select Ultimate Hulk. This is a special collector edition action figure with highly detailed base. There's a look at the side of the box and on the back we have the Ultimate Hulk. With some other figures we can collect in the set Captain America and Ultimate Iron Man. As a research scientist for S.H.I.E.L.D., Bruce Banner looked to recreate the super soldier serum that turned Steve Rogers into Captain America. Instead, Banner accidentally created a formula that turned him into the Hulk. Here it is, everyone. It's not just Hulk, it's Ultimate Hulk. And this is that background base this comes with. We'll set that aside and check it out a little bit because we need to check out our Hulk figure first. Ultimate Hulk. As you can see, this Hulk has a lot of detail. These Marvel Select figures do have a lot of detail. This Hulk has the blue pants that have turned into shorts because he's so super strong and huge. You can see all the veins in his arms and muscles. 
And he has this open hand on the left side. And a lot of detail on the fingers too. You can see the fingernails. And on his right arm we see the fist. And these hands can't open, they're stuck in place. So this is the pose that we get, that we see here. Another look at the back of this figure. And there is a good amount of posing action with this figure, or articulation. So the legs don't straighten out, but we can move them side to side. We can move them forward and back in a lot of different directions. We can also move his feet, that way we can get him into a good action pose. Like we saw before, we can move his hands around a bit and his arms have a little bit of movement too. Let's see if we can straighten them out. Okay, we can't straighten out his arms, but we can move them all the way around 360 degrees if we would like. And the head does move too. I'm sure it could, well, maybe it could spin all the way around, but there's a little bit, bit of resistance, so I don't want to twist it too much. I have had Hulk heads break before, so definitely want to be careful with this one because it's a cool figure and a lot of collectability with it. So this is a close-up of the Hulk's head. The ultimate Hulk and you can see his teeth. He has a teeth together kind of like angry ultimate Hulk look on his face. Here's a look at the base and we can remove it from its stand and place it back in its stand. And the back of the base, it shows buildings from a different angle. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this 2004 The Incredible Hulk Mecha Hulk with missile launching action. It's a robot Hulk. This is going to be awesome. Let's get a closer look at the front of this package. It shows Hulk breaking through a brick wall, has Marvel on the top left. On the bottom right, there's our Mecha Hulk with the Gremlin. Here's a look at the back of the package. This figure is based on the artwork by Arthur Adams. In a freak accident, Dr. Bruce Banner threw himself into harm's way to rescue a teenager. During this Valor act, Dr. Banner was left forever altered. Dr. Bruce Banner is turned into a rampaging monster, the Incredible Hulk. Now he's constantly searching to rid himself of this alter ego. All the while, while trying to stay one step ahead of those that seek to destroy him. This shows what our figure can do, and here's... Four figures within this set, we have Gamma Punch Hulk, War Hulk, Mecha Hulk, which we'll be checking out today, and Absorbing Man. All right, let's open this rare, hard to find Hulk figure from 2004. Wow, here's this figure out of the package and it is awesome. Mecha Hulk. There's so much detail on this. It's amazing all of the detail. And what's really neat about this, okay, besides the detail, there's like hidden compartments. So right here we can open this and a projectile pops out. And same thing on this side. So it just comes out like that. So that's really cool. It's like a hidden compartment. And to get that open, we can press right in there, I believe, and then it should come open, or we can just pull it open. And then the back part also opens, which is another hidden compartment, and we get this gremlin figure. So there's that hidden compartment. Here's a closer look at the gremlin figure. We'll take a more detailed look at this figure, but first let's put the Gremlin figure back in its place right here. It's been in there since 2004, so going back into its storage. Okay, so Mecha Hulk, and as you can see, there's just tons of detail. Lots of like cables, wires, different things. It has a really unique interesting paint job how it has like almost like a green layer on it but you can kind of see through the the base to the base layer it just looks really interesting so this figure is 
rare and hard to find out of the package, but in the package, it's, I'd say it's close to extremely rare. It's just, you can't find many of them in the package. And then when they're out of the package, a lot of times they're missing different things, especially the projectiles, the gremlin figure, there'll be pieces broken like this piece here. Cause if we move the head around too much, this, these, uh, wires or cables will break off. Let's get a closer look at this figure. So we're looking at the face. So not a whole lot of resemblance of Hulk, really. Um, it is green, has that green paint job to it. Besides that, not a ton of resemblance. And I like the hands. The hands, I like how we can move the fingers. They don't move separately. They move in a group of four here and then this thumb will move independently. Same with the other hand. And the feet, we can move the feet around pretty well. And the toes can move up and down, all five of them together. So yeah, really cool. A lot of articulation and just tons of detail. I like these boosters on the back too, it looks really cool. So I'll definitely try to keep all the pieces to this together, that way it's a complete figure. I'll try to get some close-ups. That way we can see it a little bit closer. If we want to put the projectiles back, we just open the front plates like that. And what's neat about these is they just kind of like push them in and they, they're like collapsible. So that's cool, we'll push this in here, and then close it right after. We don't want to leave it open too long or else these will pop out. That is really interesting, that's neat. Cool. Let's try to get this figure to stand. We were doing it earlier, it, it, it stands all right. It's not the greatest, but it, it's not that bad either. All right, so we got it to stand. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out both of these Hulk vehicles and Hulk figures from 2007. These are both zoom and go Hulks. We have the chopper trike three wheeler and the ATV four wheeler. Both of these take two AA batteries. They don't come with it, so I'll have to add the batteries in. And it looks like they can actually roll or move on their own, which is really neat. And I'm excited to try that out. It says motorized racing action. Turn it on and watch Hulk go. Here's some other figures we can collect within the set. And we actually have both of these Hulk figures, the Power Punch Hulk and the Mega Clap Hulk. All right, let's open both of these and check them out. Here's both of our Hulk vehicles out of the package. On this side, we have the Chopper three-wheeler. And on this side, we have the four-wheeler ATV. Both are really neat and great additions to our Hulk collection. First, let's take a look at this four-wheeler ATV. So we have Hulk in the riding position, both hands on the handlebars. Let's see if we can take him off of this. So it looks like we can actually get Hulk off of this, at least his hands off of the handlebars. And there it is, Hulk can come off of his four-wheeler ATV. This Hulk isn't stuck in a riding position or like a squatting position, but definitely makes a great addition to the Hulk collection. Most of them are standing straight upwards. This one is definitely not. It looks kind of cool. Now let's get a closer look at his four-wheeler ATV. And it says the Incredible Hulk on the front in two different places. I'd also like to get a closer look at this with Hulk on his ATV, which looks even more awesome. I mean, that is super cool. So on the bottom, there's an on and off switch. Let's turn this to on and watch this roll. three-wheeler will have similar rolling action to the four-wheeler ATV we just checked out, but has a little bit different look to it with the three wheels as opposed to four. It's green instead of purple. 
This is the Incredible Hulk on the front, similar to the other one. Incredible Hulk again on the back. And this Hulk can also come off, but let's get this rolling right away. I definitely want to see its rolling action. There's something that this one does which is really, really cool, and I'll show everyone just a little bit. What we're going to do is set this down here and it's going to roll in circles. It was fun checking these out. These are a bit different than the typical Hulk figures we check out. So super excited to add these to the Hulk collection. They are both from 2007 making them collectible hulks already we'll turn them around and get one more look at these welcome back everyone in today's video we'll be checking out three figures from the incredible hulk collection let's start out by first checking out this glow in the dark hulk figure there's hulk busting through and you can see the glowing veins which we'll check out in a little bit that glow in the dark this is the gamma glow hulk only at target when it was available so it's a target exclusive and on the back it shows hulk with his tearaway shirt and it says super poseable it's glow in the dark so that's the big thing with this figure is that the veins glow in the dark here's some other figures within the set that we've already opened a couple of these before the gray hulk and this classic hulk over here Here's our glowing Hulk figure out of the package, and he already looks awesome. And when he is glowing in the dark, it's gonna be super, super awesome. So like a lot of him lights up or glows in the dark and these veins do, it's super cool. And he also has this shirt that's like kind of torn, as you can see. So we could remove this or keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on. I think it adds some character to the figure. Here's a closer look at Hulk's face. You can see his teeth showing. He has the open mouth. He has that angry Hulk look on his face. Lots of detail with this figure. Let's check out the articulation with this figure. So we can bend his knees and his feet and we can move him around. That way we can get this Hulk in a lot of really cool poses. So he has good posing action. This is a super cool figure for our collection. I really like all the figures within this set or this series. It's one of my favorite series of Hulk figures. There's just so many cool figures, and we've been opening up a lot of these throughout the years. All right, so here it is, everyone. It's time to check this glowing in the dark. There it is. How cool is that? You can see all that glowing action. It actually looks like more than just his veins are glowing. That is super cool. We'll check out two more Hulk figures for this video, both from the same set as the other Hulk that we just checked out. So this is the Mighty Smash and Attack Hulk. This is the Power Smash Attack Hulk. Both really cool figures. Has that similar look to the packaging with Hulk right there. And it says Mighty Punch since soldiers flying. This one, squeeze legs for a super smash attack. And a look at the back of the package. It says ground erupts and sends the soldier sprawling. So that's like a movie moment or something from the movie. That's pretty cool. So Hulk can smash this and it sends a, a different figure, whatever figure we put on here, sends that figure flying. This time it's this uh, soldier right there that's trying to capture Hulk. He's doing that super powerful smash. Other figures to collect within the set. And we have either opened all of these Hulk figures, or we will open them if we haven't already. So that's really cool to know. Let's just collect them all. This one over here, squeeze legs for a power smash attack. This is Cop Car Boxing Glove. And that just shows the strength of Hulk. Here's a look at these two Hulk figures out of the package and they come with some really neat accessories. Let's put this Hulk aside and we'll check that out in just a little bit. And we'll move to this one first and there goes the soldier figure. We'll check that out since that's the one that fell over first. So the soldier comes with this base or platform. And what we can do is we just go like that. Then we can put the soldier on here and then Hulk will do a super powerful punch and knock the soldier down just a moment 
to get him to stand. That's the tricky part is getting this figure to stand. So we got the figure to stand, then Hulk is going to do a smash right here. That was awesome. Let's try it again. Okay, it seems like we need a little bit more smashing power. So we'll try it another time and see if we can get this figure to launch even further. Now let's take a closer look at our Hulk figure. A lot of awesome detail on this figure. And what we can do with this figure is we can twist him and he does this hook punch smash. And it looks like this Hulk figure has the dark blue shorts. And he has some articulation, actually a little bit more than just some. There's actually quite a bit of articulation on this figure. Yeah, it looks like this, actually both of his arms, we can't bend them at the elbows, but he does have this up and down motion. That way we can do like a hook punch that's the lower, we can do one right in the middle and then we can do a higher hook punch. Next up we have our last Hulk. This is our third Hulk figure in this video that we'll be checking out. Looks really cool, kind of similar to this one, but has some different features. His mouth is open just like the other Hulk. This time he has the gray pants that have turned into shorts, so gray shorts, and we can take the car out of his hand. But it's left of the car, there's like half of it at most. You can see the wheels are bent in. It's all smashed. What we can do is put this right in the Hulk's fist so he's holding on to it. And we can get a swinging action going too. We just squeeze his legs together and Hulk will do a swinging, smashing action. We'll take a closer look at our Hulk figure. Let's actually, before we do that, let's check out the hook punch swinging action without the car in hand. There's a close up of Hulk's face. Lots of detail. His mouth is open with his teeth showing. There's a look at all of our Hulk figures we opened today. Which one of these is your favorite? It's really difficult to choose from because all three of these are super awesome. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out more incredible Hulk figures. We have three figures from this collection we'll be checking out today. We have the Mega Kick Hulk, which looks super awesome. He's doing that kick, which is definitely mega. There's also these three figures we can collect within the set, and we have reviewed actually two of those already. Haven't checked out Abomination, but I do believe I have that in the collection somewhere. This other Hulk figure is really cool too. He's bending a steel bar, and it looks like there's glow on the dark veins. And this Hulk also glows, which is really cool too. It has the gamma glowing skin. Here's a look at our Hulk figures out of the package. Let's check out this Hulk first that comes with a steel beam. The steel beam looks like it was used for like a bridge or something that really needed something that was extra strong to hold it in place. And Hulk is just able to bend it, smash it, and throw it. We'll set that aside, check out our Hulk figure here with all the glow in the dark glowing veins that we'll check out in just a little bit. You can still see all those veins. I mean, there's so many of them and they will glow in the dark, which is really cool. Check that out in a little bit. So we can squeeze Hulk's legs together and he does this twisting hook punch action. So he has a right fist and he also has a left fist. And we can just squeeze together and he does his legs together and he does that twisting hook punch. And that was actually a popular thing to do with these Hulk figures in that 2007, 8, and 9 years. A lot of twisting action and they've used it before too but especially during those years I've noticed so that's really cool I like how he has the brown pants too it gives a little bit different look for the Hulk sometimes he has the blue pants and sometimes it'll be purple and then different just lots of different colors so I like the the differences and the variety of these and uniqueness of these all these different Hulks 
Sometimes they're just little subtle differences, but just enough to give it its own unique look, which is really cool. There's the bottom of the feet. And there is a close-up of Hulk's face. He has his mouth wide open. You can see his teeth. Super cool. And we can also put this Hulk into different posing motions. So he can, we can bend his arms a little bit. There's a little bit of movement to him. We can move him down like that, keep him at the side. This one we'll put down at the side more so. See, that's kind of a different look. and kind of do like a little shoulder nudge or smash like that too if we want him to. And he can move his feet. That way we can get him in a different stance or pose. Looks like we can't bend his, no, we can bend his knees actually. So yeah, he's a little bit of a bend, not as much to this left one, but this right one sure does bend a lot. Alright, I am definitely ready to see what this looks like glowing in the dark, so let's check that out next. Okay, you can kind of see the glowing, but not really too much. Unfortunately, the glowing action didn't really work too well, and that sometimes happens with some of these older vintage figures. They just don't glow that well after a certain time because originally all these veins were supposed to just show up super clear in the glow in the dark look but this one just doesn't do that and i did try putting it close to a light source sometimes that will activate or, or enhance the the glow feature it still didn't work I tried just about everything that i could think of and unfortunately it didn't really work but still a really cool figure definitely worth checking out and super awesome all right, let's move on to our next figure now. So we also have this figure. It's uh, where his chest and stomach and all this actually start glowing too. We press down on this button, and I made a short video with this, and it's not really working either. This one actually, I should be able to get batteries for it. I didn't get batteries for it yet, and I really want to get this video out so everyone can see. So, uh, but you can see kind of how it works with the short video. Even in that video, when I made that, it didn't really like light up too well, but it did light up more than it is now. So you can get an idea of how it would look. Definitely want to get some batteries for this though to check out the full effect. And I hope it still works after all these years once we replace the batteries. So again, with this figure, we'll check out articulation. It looks very similar to the other Hulk. This one seems to bend a little bit better on that left knee than the other one did. Otherwise, similar articulation. This one's just a bit looser so sometimes the joints and different things get a little bit looser even in the package so over all these years um it's it's gotten a little bit loose this one we can bend the elbow and we can kind of move that forearm around a little bit and move his arms so he can do that smashing action motion which is really cool this one has a lighter tan shorts once were pants turned into shorts when he became the hulk and got super huge and strong So that's really cool. This is a really neat figure. This is super cool. We'll set that aside. We also have this Hulk. It does this kicking motion or action. And this one, I couldn't figure out how to engage that, that kicking motion or action. But, you know, it just kind of looks like that. And this one bends at the knees also. A little bit stiffer in the joints. Doesn't bend as much. And this one can do like a twisting action, so we can just twist it and it does like a punch. I think that's pretty cool too. Let's have him do that shoulder smash or shoulder nudge to get this arm down. And sometimes you have to bring it all the way around to, okay, get it down like that. It does like a shoulder nudge. So it makes that clicking sound. Usually the clicking sound is for something so if you if you guys can figure out how to do that kicking motion I mean is it just supposed to bring up the leg and kick I don't know that that's interesting I but yeah if you know how to do that definitely let me know and a lot of these figures I've reviewed over the years or or used in other videos before so I'm kind of going at it again reviewing these again and trying to keep them organized with all these different Hulk reviews I still think that's really cool, just kind of doing that shoulder smash, that's cool. Now we can get kind of a close-up, and let's actually get a close-up of the face on the features of both of these hulks. We'll keep the arms up on that one, we'll get zoom in closer 
It looks like, okay, this one has the closed mouth. Let's try to get this one to stand first and then we'll look in more detail. Okay, this one does not want to stand with the straighten out his leg. There we go. Okay, there it is. He has this frowny, closed mouth face going on. I kind of like it. It's just different. He doesn't have the mouth open like the other ones, which I like the mouth open also, but this just gives it a little bit different character and different look to it. I don't know. I, th I think I like it. What do you all think? I think it looks pretty cool. And I also think this one looks cool too. He has his mouth just like kind it's not like wide open, but he's kind of like grinding his teeth together in this like super mad like Hulk look. I guess you know, it's not super mad, but it's like it looks like he's he's like more than kinda mad. I mean this one looks like super mad, like he's just gonna start smashing a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that's, that's cool. I like looking at the different expressions and all the details on these figures too. I think it really, there's a lot of like detail and character within these figures if you look closely. And then there's this guy, the soldier figure, which is still cool too. Comes with this and he has a lot of gear and armor on. Kinda sorta reminds me of like a G.I. Joe action figure like from years back, or like a battle core figure of some sort. So, kind of cool. Yeah, he kind of has that G.I. Joe feel to him a little bit. He has the helmet. Doesn't look like it comes off. He has probably has some kind of night vision goggles of some sort. We also got this one in a different set. I'm guessing they're on the same team. They kind of have that similar armor to them. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out this Iron Man vs. Hulk set. This is the Battle Masters Superhero Slam. On the left, it's Iron Man, the Armored Avenger. And on the right, it's Hulk, the Incredible Avenger. This set is from 2013, and there's other figures we can collect within the set besides Iron Man and Hulk. Over on this side, we have Wolverine and Thor. And we can take a look at the back of the box. Contents, two figures, two controllers. There's instructions with battle mat. There you can see Hulk, and there's the actual Hulk figure with Iron Man. And then there's Iron Man doing that repulsor blast. Let's check out this side. Looks like there's two more we can collect within this set. There's Spider-Man and Captain America. Here's a look at our two new figures out of the package. We have Hulk and Iron Man. Let's take a look at Hulk first. This is super, super awesome. So what we can do is we can spin him like this and he does a hook swinging Hulk punch. And he does it with both arms. And we can also control it with this and with our fingers and the controller. How we do that is we just press down on these tabs on the back. There's a closer look at those tabs. So pressing down on them makes Hulk swing this way. And then pressing down the other one makes him swing the other way. And it looks like Hulk's head is popped up and we can press it down. And you'll see why in just a little bit why we do that. Alright, let's set Hulk aside and check out our Iron Man figure. That'd be cool to get the rest of the set. So yeah, here's Iron Man. We can just kind of swing him back and forth like that. We can also use our fingers on those tabs. Wow, Iron Man is really doing some super fast punches also. And they look powerful too. Probably all that power within that armor. So yeah, Iron Man's really cool too. And we can pop the head up like that and press it down. We also have controllers for the battle. Let's put Iron Man in here. So we just press his feet in place and then he locks into place like that. And we can press these down so you can battle. That's really cool. And on the front it says Battle Masters. So we'll set Iron Man there. Hopefully he doesn't fall. Looks like he's just about to. Let's get Hulk set up and ready to go also. There we go. Hulk is in place now. Wow, look at Hulk, he's super powerful, fast, smashing. He's gonna do a left, right, left. So 
So this works better with two people, but I'll try to do this by myself. So we're gonna do a battle. Let me get the camera adjusted. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have a battle. Both, we popped both heads on. Actually, before our battle, let's check this out. So this is the, these are the instructions. So ob object is to defeat your opponent by popping his, popping his figure's head up with a placed attack. And it says using the controller, three, two, one battle, and then a win. So if the head pops up, that equals a win. And there's also a draw battle. And then there's this also. So this is like the the map they were talking about. I'm not gonna probably use that this battle, but maybe we'll check that out again in a little bit. Let's get this battle going like this. So I have to have it like angled like this if I'm gonna do the battle with just me. Okay, it's not working out too well. We do, it would work a lot better with two people, but we're kind of getting a battle going here. Iron Man's really trying to get Hulk, but Hulk still isn't losing this battle. Let's see if Hulk can do some really fast, hard power smashes to win this. That's cool. Okay, so we don't have a winner. This would be like a tie or a draw. But yeah, that's really cool. So let's definitely put these on the mat just to show what they would look like. So there's start and then battle on, it goes right on the mat. Hulk doesn't look like he wants to stand as well as Iron Man. He's kind of a little bit more tippy. But that's basically how it would work is on this mat here. I guess I can kind of try a battle on the mat. Then Hulk's head would go up if they lose and so would Iron Man's like that. So yeah, it's really cool. I'll definitely consider collecting the rest of this set. So there it is everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.